Chapters 1 through 13, Review and Expansion. We will be reviewing the concepts that form the basis of American speech, intonation, word groups, the staircase, voice quality, and liaisons, as well as pronunciation. Let's briefly review each item in order. This time around, there will be no explanation. Review Exercise 1-1, Rubber Band Practice with Nonsense Syllables. 1. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. 2. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. A. Da, da, da. X, Y, Z. Eight, nine, ten. Cows give milk. B. Da, da, da. Unconcerned. He sells fish. We like Bob. C. Da, da, da. Including. He's selfish. I think so. D. Da, da, da. Educate. Softball game. Bring me some. Review exercise 1 2. Noun intonation. Cats eat fish. Boys like toys. Lou lost his mind. Gail earned a fortune. Betty grows tomatoes. Ed found a job. Max cut his finger. Mary flew a kite. Rick passed the test. Our car lost a wheel. Review exercise 1-3, noun and pronoun intonation. Patrick speaks French. He speaks it. The neighbors sold their car. They sold it. The police chased the felon. They chased him. The housekeeper did some laundry. She did some. The architect and I designed a house. We designed one. Review exercise 1-4, sentence intonation test. They took it. Mary had a baby. Lewis talked on the phone. We forgot about it. She had one. Sam called him. The dogs howled at the moon. Did you order any? We noticed her. The books fell on the floor. Review exercise 1-6. Pitch and meaning change. He looks like Bob. He looks like Bob, but he's not. He knows Bob, but he doesn't trust him. He can't trust him. He can't do it. Review exercise 1-7. Individual practice. 1. Convey the information that it is Bob. He looks like Bob. 2. Convey the opinion that he only resembles Bob. He looks like Bob, but he's not. 3. Convey the different feelings that someone has about Bob. He knows Bob, but he doesn't trust him. 4. Convey the fact that trust is a problem with Bob. He can't trust him. Review exercise 1-8. Meaning of pretty, sorta, kinda, and little. How was it? 1. It was pretty expensive. It was pretty expensive. 2. It was sorta funny. It was sorta funny. 3. It was kinda rude. It was kind of rude. 4. It was a little late. It was a little late. Review exercise 1-9. Inflection. 1. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but mine does. 2. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but her sisters always do. 3. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but every once in a while he does. 
Four. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, no matter what. Five. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but he planted a lot in her garden. Six. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but he never forgets Mother's Day. Seven. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but he showers her with other gifts. Review exercise 110, individual practice. 1. Indicate that her boyfriend prefers live plants to cut ones. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but he planted a lot in her garden. 2. Indicate that her sisters are attentive to her horticultural needs. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but her sisters always do. 3. Indicate that her boyfriend gives her non-floral presents. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but he showers her with other gifts. 4. Indicate that my boyfriend is good in the flower department. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but mine does. 5. Indicate that it is a true rarity for her boyfriend to send flowers. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, no matter what. 6. Indicate that there is actually a slim chance that he might send flowers. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but every once in a while he does. 7. Indicate that her boyfriend remembers to send flowers to his mother. Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, but he never forgets Mother's Day. Review Exercise 111, Translation. Pause the CD and translate, Her boyfriend almost never sends her flowers, into your native language. Review Exercise 112. Create your own intonation contrast. Normal intonation. Changed intonation. Review Exercise 113. Variable stress. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? How do you know? Review Exercise 114. Make a variable stress sentence. Review exercise 115. Application of stress. Review exercise 17. Staircase intonation practice. On a separate piece of paper, draw a staircase and put each word where it belongs. Review exercise 118. Reading with staircase intonation. Review Exercise 119, Spelling and Numbers, CEO, ATM, IRS, BMW, JFK, M&M, Catch, C-A-T-C-H, Nate, N-A-T-E, Area Code 213, Zip Code 90291, Date 9-15-88, Review Exercise 120, Sound Meaning Shifts. I see, I see, achy, a key, history, his tree, interest, entrust, orange, arrange, eunuch, unique, attic, a tick, comedy, committee, paradise, paradise, Selfish, selfish, underwear, underwear, ambulance, unbalanced. 
Review exercise 121. Squeezed out syllables. Actually. Business. Comfortable. Different. Every. Favorite. Family. Vegetable. Finally. General. Interest. Natural. Orange. Probably. Separate. Several. Review exercise 122. Syllable patterns. La. Cat. La. Dog. La la. A dog. La la. Hot dog. La la la. Bob's hot dog. La la la. A hot dog. La la la. A hot dog. La la la. Hot dog stand. La 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 la. Spot's a hot dog. La 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 la. It's a hot dog. La 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 la. Bob likes hot dogs. La 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 la. It's my hot dog. La 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 la. A hot dog stand. La 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 la. Lighthouse keeper. Review exercise 123. Syllable count test. Confront. Detail. A blind date. My date book. Consequence. Consequential. Will needs a car. He likes red ones. He bought me one. It's very nice. Jim likes hot rods. Lake. Days. It's your birthday? European. With dignity. Popcorn machine. A mortar board. Robin Redbreast. Telescope. Telescopic. Review exercise 124. Single word phrases. It's a cat. It's black. It's an egg. It's scrambled. It's a car. It's fast. Review exercise 125. Sentence stress with descriptive phrases. It's black. It's a black cat. It's scrambled. It's a scrambled egg. It's fast. It's a fast car. Review exercise 126. Two types of descriptive phrases. It's a black cat. It's dark black. It's a scrambled egg. It's totally scrambled. It's a fast car. It's too fast. Exercise 127. Descriptive phrase story. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Snow White was a beautiful princess. On the castle wall, there was an enchanted mirror owned by an old woman, a wicked witch. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? When the mirror answered Snow White, the young girl was banished from her glorious castle to live in the dark woods. She met seven dwarves, and they lived in a small hut. The evil witch tried to kill the poor girl with a poisoned apple. But she was saved by a handsome prince. They had a beautiful wedding and lived happily ever after. Review exercise 128. Sentence dress with set phrases. It's a cat. It's wild. It's a wild cat. It's an egg. It's a timer. It's an egg timer. It's a car. It's a crash. It's a car crash. Review exercise 129. Making set phrases. A box car. A babysitter. A palm tree. A crab cake. A cup. A bottle opener. 
Review exercise 130, set phrase story, Our Mailman. Our mailman loves junk food. At dinner time, he has potato chips and a hot dog. He puts some soy sauce on his eggplant, but it gives him a stomach ache. For dessert, he has a watermelon, a grapefruit, and some ice cream. Afterwards, he leaves the dinner table and goes to the bookshelf in his bedroom. He takes down a notebook and does his homework. He puts a clean pillowcase on his pillow, covers up with the bedspread, and goes to dreamland. Review exercise 131. Contrasting descriptive and set phrases. It's a black cat. It's a wild cat. It's a scrambled egg. It's an egg timer. It's a fast car. It's a car crash. Review exercise 132. Two word stress. A rocky garden. A rock garden. A gilded cage. A bird cage. Melted butter. A butter knife. Tomato soup. Tomato sauce. A baby goat. A scapegoat. Review exercise 133. Nationality Intonation Quiz A French guy A French restaurant French food A French fry French toast A French horn French Canadian A French teacher A French door Review exercise 134. Contrasting descriptive and set phrases. A French teacher teaches French. A French teacher is from France. A French book teaches the French language. A French book is on any subject but it came from France. French food is croissants for breakfast. A French restaurant serves croissants for breakfast. Review exercise 135. Contrast of compound nouns. A dark room. A dark room. An antique shop. An antique dealer. An antique chair. A new video. The video store. A coffee table. Hot coffee. A coffee pot. A chemistry set, a chemical reaction, a sixth sense, sixth sense, a sixth grader, the sixth grade, long hair, a hairdresser, a haircut, the wrong station, a police station, a radio station, orange juice, a guitar case, an electric guitar, trick photography, a photo op, a wedding ceremony, a beautiful ceremony, a wedding cake. Review exercise 136, description and set phrase test. Mark the intonation and then repeat after me. The school kids took the subway downtown for their field trip on urban living. Our local sheriff had a bumper sticker on his back bumper. The homeowners thought they had to pay property taxes to the federal government. There were small tremblers after the earthquake in San Francisco. The geology club went on a camping trip to Mount Hood. The award ceremony at the Hilton Hotel lasted for two hours. Bob Smith took his surfboard out on a stormy day near Diamond Head. The Boy Scouts pitched their pup tents on the mountaintop in the pouring rain. It's a little late to ask the babysitter to stay overnight. 
The sixth graders were reading comic books and drinking chocolate milk. Review exercise 138, consistent noun stress and changing verb tenses. 1. The floods erode the mountains. 2. The floods eroded the mountains. 3. The floods are eroding the mountains. 4. The floods will erode the mountains. 5. The floods that erode the mountains. 6. The floods that have eroded the mountains. 7. The floods that have eroded the mountains. 8. The floods have eroded the mountains. 9. The floods that eroded the mountains. 10. The floods that have eroded the mountains. 11. The floods that erode the mountains. 12. The floods should erode the mountains. 13. The floods shouldn't erode the mountains. 14. The floods should have eroded the mountains. 15. The floods shouldn't have eroded the mountains. 16. The floods could erode the mountains. 17. The floods couldn't erode the mountains. 18. The floods could have eroded the mountains. 19. The floods couldn't have eroded the mountains. 20. The floods might erode the mountains. 21. The floods might have eroded the mountains. 22. The floods must erode the mountains. 23. The floods must have eroded the mountains. 24. The floods can erode the mountains. 25. The floods can't erode the mountains. Review exercise 139, consistent pronoun stress and changing verb tenses. 1. It erodes them. 2. It eroded them. 3. It's eroding them. 4. It'll erode them if it keeps up. 5. It'd erode them if it kept up. 6. It'd have eroded them if it kept up. 7. The one that's eroded them is quite old. 8. It's eroded them for eons. 9. It had eroded them before the last ice age. 10. It'll have eroded them by the end of the millennium. 11. It ought to erode them. 12. It should erode them. 13. It shouldn't erode them. 14. It should have eroded them. 15. It shouldn't have eroded them. 16. It could erode them. 17. It couldn't erode them. 18. It could have eroded them. 19. It couldn't have eroded them. 20. It might erode them. 21. It might have eroded them. 22. It must erode them. 23. It must have eroded them. 24. It can erode them. 25. It can't erode them. Review exercise 140, intonation in your own sentence. On a separate piece of paper, write the exercise as on pages 38 and 40. Review exercise 141, supporting words. 1. The floods erode the mountains every day. 2. The floods eroded the mountains for centuries. 3. The floods are eroding the mountains right now. 4. The floods will erode the mountains if this keeps up. 5. The floods that erode the mountains if this kept up. 6. The floods that have eroded the mountains if it kept up. 7. The floods that have eroded the mountains are over. 8. The floods have eroded the mountains over the years. 9. The floods had already eroded the mountains before the last ice age. 10. The floods will have totally eroded the mountains by the next ice age. Review exercise 142, contrast practice. 5. The floods that erode the mountains. 9. The floods that eroded the mountains. 6. The floods that have eroded the mountains. 7. The floods that have eroded the mountains. 4. 
The floods that erode the mountains. Five. The floods that erode the mountains. Six. The floods that have eroded the mountains. Eight. The floods that have eroded the mountains. Nine. The floods that eroded the mountains. Ten. The floods that have eroded the mountains. Five. The floods that erode the mountains. Eleven. The floods that are erode the mountains. Twenty-four. The floods can erode the mountains. Twenty-five. The floods can't erode the mountains. Review exercise one forty-three. Yes, you can, or no, you can't. I can tell you. I can't tell you. I can tell you. I can't tell you. Review exercise one forty-four. Building an intonation sentence. I saw him. I saw him again. I saw him at work again. I think I saw him at work again. I really think I saw him at work again. I really think I saw him at work again in the yard. I really think I saw him at work again in the yard behind the house. Review exercise one forty-five. Building your own intonation sentences. On a separate piece of paper, build up your own sentences. Review exercise one forty-six. Regular transitions of nouns and verbs. An accent, to accent. A contract, to contract. An insert, to insert. An object, to object. Progress, to progress. Review exercise one forty-seven. Regular transitions of adjectives and verbs. Alternate, to alternate. Estimate, to estimate. Separate, to separate. Review exercise one forty-eight. Regular transitions of adjectives and verbs. Mark the intonation and then repeat after me. Would you please alternate seats with the other alternate? They signed a contract in order to contract their services. Who could object to progress? The unidentified flying object progressed slowly across the night sky. We need a written estimate in order to estimate the payment. Review exercise one fifty one. Extended listening practice. Repeat after me, starting from the right, and fill in the blanks. One, writ, ver, do, ge, da, ga, keys, thing, we. Two, dit, cre, na, lie, da. Ge, da, how, no, one, ni, ze, da, three, net, ner, ye, the, use, da, how, one, show, da. Try, should, they. Review exercise one fifty three. Reduce sounds. The president hoped to veto the bill. Deposit it to my account, please. Their boss told them to wait. The coach showed us how to pitch. Everyone stared at the mess. Stay at my house for a while. Jim looked at his watch impatiently. He's at his brother's. They said it took too long. Do you think it turned out? Let's keep it in perspective. We keep it for another day. 
This'll do for now. The students all worked for hours. We learned it from the coach. The tourists came from all over. We made it just in time. The place was in an uproar. It was an odd remark. He's an open book to me. Everyone sat and chatted for a while. It was getting later and later. We had two or three options. No one could see or hear anything. The neighbors are complaining again. Whose shoes are these? The door's on your left. Are you on your way yet? There's another one later. One of them is outside. The other one's in here. Did he pass the test? Let's take a cab. What's the tallest building in America? Should you like a piece of pie? They'll be gone for a couple of weeks. Do you think you can do it? Can you believe it? We think he'd never done it before. They'd always done it that way. Why would he tell her? I don't know if he'd agree. Who was on the phone? The drummer was off beat. Let's see what he wants. Who knows what it is? Some of it got in my eyes. Somebody took my place. Review exercise 154. Intonation and pronunciation of that. The grapes that he bought were sweet. We hope that you'll be there. Don't do that. I know that you'll like that car that you bought. Review exercise 155. Crossing out reduced sounds. Review exercise 156. Reading reduced sounds. Think the United Auto Workers can beat Caterpillar Incorporated in their bitter contract battle? Before placing your bets, talk to Paul Brannan, who can't wait to cross the picket line at Caterpillar's factory in East Peoria. Brannan, recently laid off by a rubber parts plant, where he earned base pay of $6.30 an hour, lives one block from a heavily picketed gate at the cat complex. Now he's applying to replace one of 12,600 workers who have been on strike for the past five months. $17 an hour and they don't want to work, asked Brannon. I don't want to take another guy's job, but I'm hurting too. Review exercise 157. Phrasing. Birds lay eggs. As we all know, birds lay eggs. Birds lay eggs build nests, and hunt for food. Do birds lay eggs? Do birds lay eggs? Birds lay eggs, don't they? Birds lay eggs, don't they? He asked if birds laid eggs. Do birds lay eggs, they inquired. Exercise 160. Tag Endings. There's none left, is there? That was fun, wasn't it? You don't have a clue, do you? He wouldn't forget, would he? They can do it over, can't they? She had to do it, didn't she? She'd rather do it, wouldn't she? She'd better do it, hadn't she? She'd never do it, would she? She'd never done it, had she? Review exercise 2-1, spelling and pronunciation. Buddy. But he forgot. He said okay, but he forgot. He said okay, but he forgot. Review exercise 2-4. Consonant-Vowel Liaison Practice 1. 
I think he's on his way. I think he's on his way. Two. He put it in an umbrella stand. He put it in an umbrella stand. Three. We bought it in Italy. We bought it in Italy. Review exercise 2 8. Consonant consonant liaison practice. 1. Nick Clark hopes to put $10 down. 2. But Tom makes so much juice. 3. Bob's dog got some bones. Review exercise 2 9. Vowel, vowel, liaison practice. 1. Can you see it through to the end? Can you see it through to the end? 2. Be available for the other opportunity in my office. Be available for the other opportunity in my office. 3. He always wants to offer to go over it again. He always wants to offer to go over it again. Review exercise 2-11. T, D, S, or Z plus Y liaison practice. 1. We're glad that your homework's done. 2. Would you help me with this? 3. Did you miss your old friends? 4. Where's your brother? Review exercise 2-12. Finding liaisons and glides. Think the United Auto Workers can beat Caterpillar Incorporated in their bitter contract battle? Before placing your bets, talk to Paul Brannan, who can't wait to cross the picket line at Caterpillar's factory in East Peoria. Brannan, recently laid off by a rubber parts plant, where he earned base pay of $6.30 an hour, lives one block from a heavily picketed gate at the CAT complex. Now he's applying to replace one of 12,600 workers who have been on strike for the past five months. $17 an hour and they don't want to work, asked Brannon. I don't want to take another guy's job, but I'm hurting too. Review exercise 213, Practicing Liaisons. Think the United Auto Workers can beat Caterpillar Incorporated in their bitter contract battle? Before placing your bets, talk to Paul Brannan, who can't wait to cross the picket line at Caterpillar's factory in East Peoria. Brannon, recently laid off by a rubber parts plant, where he earned base pay of six thirty an hour, lives one block from a heavily picketed gate at the cat complex. Now he's applying to replace one of twelve thousand six hundred workers who have been on strike for the past five months. $17 an hour? And they don't want to work? asked Brannon. I don't want to take another guy's job, but I'm hurting too. Review exercise 3-1, word by word and in a sentence. That. We think that we can get there in time. Than. It's harder than she thought. As. It was as flat as a pancake. At. We jumped at the chance. And. The speaker went on and on. Have. How have you been? Had. I wish we'd been there. Can. Let me know if you can be there. Review exercise 3-3, three, three, vowel sound differentiation. 1. Ask, often, under, over, April, 
ever. Two, back, ball, bunch, both, baby, bend. Three, cap, cop, cup, cope, cape, kept. Four, dash, dot, does, don't, date, desk. Five, fast, fall, fun, photo, fail, fell. Review exercise 3-4, finding the a, ah, a, ah, uh sounds. Think the United Auto Workers can beat Caterpillar Incorporated in their bitter contract battle? Before placing your bets, talk to Paul Brannan, who can't wait to cross the picket line at Caterpillar's factory in East Peoria. Brannon, recently laid off by a rubber parts plant, where he earned base pay of $6.30 an hour, lives one block from a heavily picketed gate at the CAT complex. Now he's applying to replace one of 12,600 workers who have been on strike for the past five months. $17 an hour and they don't want to work, asked Brannon. I don't want to take another guy's job, but I'm hurting too. Review exercise 3-5, reading the ah sound. Fast Dancing Nancy. We plan to have a dance on the last Saturday in January. It's the last chance for a dance. We practice at a dance class with Max and Nancy. Max dances fast, but Nancy dances best. We're happy about the dance, but Max is sad that Sally can't dance. Her ankle is in a cast. Review exercise 3-6, reading the ah sound. Paul's tall daughter. Tom watches Paul's tall daughter play softball and volleyball. Paul's daughter is called Molly. Molly starts playing softball in March and ends in August. She plays volleyball in October. Tom is Molly's godfather. They have a lot in common. Tom bought Molly a ball. When Molly saw the ball, she tossed it in the air. Thanks a lot, Tom. Review exercise 3-7, reading the uh sound. Sunday and Monday. Monday is such a wonderful day, but Sunday is much more wonderful than Monday. We have so much fun on Sunday, and we must run on Monday. What trouble. Doug must run on Sunday and Monday. Doug has no fun. Review exercise 4-1, stressed and unstressed T. Paternal, pattern, critique, critic. Review exercise 4-3, rule 1, top of the staircase. Tell Tina's tailor to take two tucks in the top of Tim's trousers tomorrow. We try and try but Todd still tells us to try harder. Terry had a tingling in her toes until the doctor took her temperature. Review exercise 4-4, four, four, rule 2, middle of the staircase. What a totally naughty little daughter. Maddie got a little cottage in the city. Letty bought a lot of bottles for Katie. Review exercise 4-5, rule 3, bottom of the staircase. Matt got to put Jim's pet rat back in the cage. Pat set the date with Kate. It's not what they went for. Review exercise 4-6, rule 4, held T before N. Whitney saw lightning on the mountain. 
He was certainly a frightening accountant. That was a rotten way to shorten the curtain. Review exercise 4-7, Rule 5, The Silent T. We had 20 interviews on May 22nd. They don't even want a percentage. We took advantage of the interruption. Review exercise 4.10, T combinations in context. But he said that it's okay. It's not what you want, but it's what you get. What a way to get what he wants. Review exercise 4.11, voiced and unvoiced sounds with T. Pa, pod, pot, par, pard, part, paul, pauled, pult, ba, baud, bot, bar, bard, bart, ball, bald, bult. Review exercise 5-2. Sounds comparing L with T, D, and N. Lab, nab, tab, dab, lot, not, tot, dot, lie, night, tie, die, Ellie, any, eddy, collar, Connor, cotter, Allie, Annie's, at ease, Bill, bin, bit, bid, Sill, sin, sit, sid, bowl, bone, boat, bowed. Review exercise 5-3, final L with schwa. Bill, bull, pool, bail, bell, peel, buell, pearl. Review exercise 5-4, many final L's. Bill, bull, pool, bail, bell, peel, buell, pearl. Review exercise 5-5. Five, five. Liaise the L's. Call him. Visible. Review exercise 5-7. Silent L's, would, could, should, chalk, talk, walk, already, always, almost. Review exercise 5-8, hold your tongue. Let Larry's little lily leaf fall off. Review exercise 5-9. Bill and Ellie. Bill still calls Ellie all the time. He'll really be glad when she calls back. But it may be a while. He slowly dials the telephone for the twelfth time. Trill, trill, trill. No luck. Well, Ellie will feel ill when Bill is in the hospital. He might fall from the windowsill. Ellie, hello, are you well? Saved by the bell. Review exercise 511, final L practice. 1. Bull, ball, bowel, bell, bale, bowl, beal, bottle. 2. Pull, Paul, Powell, Pell, Pale, Pole, Peel, Poodle. Three, Full, Fall, Foul, Fell, Fail, Full, Feel, Fetal. 
Review exercise 512, a frontal lobotomy. I'd rather have a frontal lobotomy than a bottle in front of me, chortled the gentle little man. Or was it the little gentleman? But anyway, it'll take a battle to test his mettle. What'll he do to get a handle on the whole kitten caboodle? I don't want a medal, but what if he flies off the handle again? Out of luck, that's what. Review exercise 513, speed reading. Repeat the paragraph from review exercise 155 as quickly as possible. Think the United Auto Workers can beat Caterpillar Incorporated in their bitter contract battle? Before placing your bets, talk to Paul Brannan who can't wait to cross the picket line at Caterpillar's factory in East Peoria. Brannon, recently laid off by a rubber parts plant, where he earned base pay of six thirty an hour, lives one block from a heavily picketed gate at the Cat Complex. Now he's applying to replace one of 12,600 workers who've been on strike for the past five months. $17 an hour and they don't want to work, asked Brannon. I don't want to take another guy's job, but I'm hurting too. Review exercise 514, tandem reading. Repeat the paragraph from review exercise 155 along with me. Think the United Auto Workers can beat Caterpillar Incorporated in their bitter contract battle? Before placing your bets, talk to Paul Brannon, who can't wait to cross the picket line at Caterpillar's factory in East Peoria. Brannon, recently laid off by a rubber parts plant where he earned base pay of six thirty an hour, lives one block from a heavily picketed gate at the Cat Complex. Now he's applying to replace one of 12,600 workers who've been on strike for the past five months. $17 an hour and they don't want to work, asked Brannon. I don't want to take another guy's job, but I'm hurting too. Review exercise 6-1. Our location practice. G, Gur, Greg, Grin, Grand, Gray, Cray, Care, Core, Corner, Curl, Girl, Urban, Her, Earn, Earth, World, Were, Word. Review exercise 6-2. Double vowel sounds with R. A, er, ha, erd, hard, e, er, she, er, share, o, er, mo, er, more, e, er, he, Er, here. Er, er. Were, er. Were. Review exercise 6 3. How to pronounce troublesome R's. 1. Were. 2. Word. 3. World. 4. War. 5. Where. Review exercise 6-4. Spignev's Epsilon List. Embarrass. Paris. Character. Necessary. Any. Says. Vocabulary. Parallel. Said. Guarantee. Paragraph. Area. Review exercise 6-5. Are Combinations. 1. Earn, art, air, or, ear, hour. 2. Hurt, heart, hair, horse, here, hour. 3. Were, far, where, war, weir, power. Review exercise 6-6. Six, six. Roy the Rancher. Roy's car will arrive around 3 in the afternoon. 
Gary will rest before they ride around the ranch together in the Ford. Gary's a grape grower in Northern California, and Roy's a rancher in Southern California. They were friends in Paris at the Sorbonne for four years. Roy and Gary had an orange grove and an apple orchard in Barstow, but the oranges were horrible and the apple trees were worse. They roamed around Europe for several years until Gary's marriage. He married Sarah in Bakersfield and had four children: Rachel, Rudy, Randy, and Harry. Harry was a fairly rude boy. And he created rather a lot of trouble between Gary and Sarah. Gary ordered Harry to shape up or forget working in the yard for extra money. Harry said he was sorry, and the group became friends again. After a long separation, Gary heard from his friend Roy. Roy was driving through Fresno and wanted to get together with Gary's family. Everyone gathered around the fireplace to wait for Gary's old friend. Gary, Sarah, Rachel, Rudy, Randy, and Harry are sitting in a row near the garage. Roy's car will arrive around three in the afternoon. Review exercise C: Modifying descriptive phrases. It's a black cat. It's a dark black cat. It's a scrambled egg. It's a totally scrambled egg. It's a fast car. It's a really fast car. Review exercise D: Modifying set phrases. It's a wild cat. It's a fierce wild cat. It's an egg timer. It's a plastic egg timer. It's a car crash. It's a catastrophic car crash. Review exercise E: Two and three word set phrases. It's a wild cat. It's a wild cat preserve. It's an egg timer. It's an egg timer bell. It's a car crash. It's a car crash report. Review exercise F: Three word phrase summary. A dark black cat. A fierce wild cat. A wildcat preserve, a totally scrambled egg, a plastic egg timer, an egg timer bell, a really fast car, a catastrophic car crash, a car crash report. Review exercise I: Multiple modifiers with set phrases. It's a fierce wildcat. It's an astonishingly fierce wildcat. It's a plastic egg timer. It's an old plastic egg timer. It's a catastrophic car crash. It's a truly catastrophic car crash. Review exercise J: Compound intonation of numbers. How old is she? She's thirteen. She's thirty. How long has it been? Thirteen years. Thirty years. How old is she? She's thirteen years old. She's thirty years old. Review exercise K: Modifying three-word set phrases. It's a wildcat preserve. It's a new wildcat preserve. It's an egg timer bell. It's a loud egg timer bell. It's a car crash report. It's a graphic car crash report. Review exercise L: Three-word phrase story. The amazing rock soup. A tired young hiker was striding through the thick dark forest when he came upon a gnarled old crone standing before a small stone hut in a sunny little clearing. My poor old stomach is really very empty, he thought. I hope the old landlady can spare a little food. Sensing what he was about to say, she snapped, 
No, I have barely enough for myself. My good woman, he said, on the contrary. I'd like to cook you a sumptuously rich dinner of rock soup. She was naturally very suspicious, but she let him in. He boiled some clear, fresh water, added three clean rocks, and hung the dented old kettle in the old fireplace. He tasted the mysterious liquid concoction. This is truly very delicious, he declared. But it would be so much better with just one little vegetable. She begrudgingly gave him a small limp carrot and two dry onions. Yum, he said happily, but if only... Bit by bit, he cajoled the lonely housewife into making a savory stew pot. The two of them sat down, smiled at each other, and enjoyed a fabulous dinner together. Review exercise M. Building up to five word phrases. It's a house. It's old. It's really old. It's an old house. It's a really old house. It's a lighthouse. It's an old lighthouse. It's a really old lighthouse. He's a lighthouse keeper. He's an old lighthouse keeper. He's a really old lighthouse keeper. Review exercise 7-1, The Thing. This is the thing that they told them about this Thursday. This thing or that thing? This thing. Actually, there are two of them. Both of these things were with the three other things there in the theater. They're worth $3,000. Ruth and her mother think that they're worth more than that, though, unless they break, and then they're worthless. Altogether worthless to them. That would bother Ruth's brother, mother, and father on their birthday the 30th of this month. Ruth, Ethel, and Beth have a rule of thumb about birthdays, which is to stay together through thick and thin, whether it's worth it or not. And that's the thing. Noun intonation summary. Rule 1. New information. Bob studies English. He studies English. Rule A, descriptive phrases. Pretty good. A good shot. A pretty good shot. Really long. A long talk. Really very long. Fairly rubbery. A rubber hose. A long rubber hose. Rule B, compound nouns. A snapshot. A snapshot collection. A talk show. A talk show host. A rubber band, a rubber band box, a good snapshot, a good snapshot collection, a funny talk show, a funny talk show host, a cheap rubber band, a cheap rubber band box, a really good snapshot, a really good snapshot collection, a super funny talk show, a super funny talk show host, a very cheap rubber band. A very cheap rubber band box. Rule C. Descriptive phrases with sentence balance. The Great Wall. The Great Wall of China. Seventeen. Seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars an hour. Seventeen dollars and ten cents an hour. Pretty good. A pretty good shot. Fourteen. Fourteen years. Fourteen years old. Fourteen and a half years old. Rule two. Old information. He studies it. Bob studies it. Rule three. Contrast. We need a red pen. We need a red pen, not a blue one. Rule four. Opinion. I should go jogging. I should go jogging. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
I think so. I think so. Rule five, negation, can't. I can do it. I can't do it. I can do it. I can't do it. Review exercise 8-1. Comparing u and u. Soon, book. Could, could. Should, should. Luke, look. Wood, would. Tool, took. Review exercise 8-2. Lax vowels. Held, hill. Hook, hug. Her, bet, bit. Book, but, burn. Kept, kiss. Could, cut. Kurt. Review exercise four. Bit or beat. Bid or bead. Beat, bead. Bit, bid. Seat, seed. Sit, sid. Heat, heed. Hit, hid. Review exercise eight five. Tense and lax vowel exercise. Even, if, even if it's raining, they'll go. Bean, bin, we've been growing beans. Deal, dill, you made a deal for dill pickles. Review exercise 8-6, middle eye list. Similar, animal, typical, chemistry, president, experiment, Episode, security, beautiful, technical, ability, monitor. Review exercise 810, uh, paragraph. You could have pushed, you could have pulled. You should have pushed and pulled, by hook or by crook, to take a good look at that book. It stood a full foot tall, Propped up on the cushion at the book nook. Now I'm all shook up, sugar. Review exercise 811. Ooh, paragraph. As a rule, you and Sue Wu are truly too cool. If only you knew how cool you two choose to be at school or at the movies. Lou Blue is cool on Tuesday while perusing the newspaper for the truth about who flew the coop from the boot camp, including the lieutenant. Who knew the truth? Review exercise 9-1. Mind your V's. Peter picked a peck of pickled peppers. It's important to provide perfect principles for young people. Hopscotch, lollipops, hula hoops, and popsicles keep a little nipper happy. Laptop computers put payroll, payables, and spreadsheets at our fingertips. It's impossible to predict population patterns. Betty bought a bit of better butter. Ben believes Bill broke Bob's box. Billions of bagels are being baked in Brooklyn. Babies babble and blow bubbles. Bananas come from Cuba. What were the women doing in the woods? How would I know? When was Willie's worst weekend? Why would we wear warm wool? Where were we when we woke up? Fred forgot to fry fish on Friday. Few friends fail to fight. Freedom fighters fight for freedom. Only a fool feeds fugu to friends. Feel free to laugh if it's funny. It's evident that Vera was very valuable. Cliff Clavin was available for every version. The Navy revoked his visa for obvious reasons. Beavers give the environment very valuable dams. 
Caves leave me cold, but I love to dive. Review exercise 10, 1, S or Z. Ice, eyes. Ace, A's. Fleece, fleas. Dust, does. Race, rays. Muscle, muzzle. Review exercise 10, 2. Sally at the seashore. It's so silly to see Sally sell seashells at the seashore. Sally and her sister Sue can sell 76 apiece every Saturday and Sunday in August and September, but their price must decrease or their sales will sink. Review exercise 10.3. Z. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had no hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't fuzzy, wuzzy. Review exercise 11 1. Tense vowels. Ask. Out. Ought. I'm. Ape. Eel. Oops. Own. Bake. About. Boss. Bike. Bathe. Bean. Boost. Both. Camp. Cow, cough, kind, case, keep, coop, code. Review exercise 11.3. Lax vowels. Wed, which, would, what, work. Bet, bit, book, but, burn. Kept, kiss, could. Cut. Kurt. Review exercise 11.7. Compound nouns and complex verbs. 1. The wily old lighthouse keepers invent a highly lucrative money laundering scheme once a season. 2. The wily old lighthouse keepers invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme last year. 3. The wily old lighthouse keepers are inventing a highly lucrative money laundering scheme again. 4. The wily old lighthouse keepers will invent a highly lucrative money laundering scheme if they aren't afraid of being caught and sent to prison. 5. The wily old lighthouse keepers invent a highly lucrative money laundering scheme if they weren't afraid of being caught and sent to prison. 6. The wily old lighthouse keepers would have invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme if they hadn't been afraid of being caught and sent to prison. 7. The wily old lighthouse keepers that have invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme are languishing in club fed at the moment. 8. The wily old lighthouse keepers have invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme for the tenth year in a row. 9. The wily old lighthouse keepers had invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme long before multi-level marketing became popular. 10. The wily old lighthouse keepers will have invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme by the time they get back from checking their offshore bank accounts. 11. The wily old lighthouse keepers ought to invent a highly lucrative money laundering scheme to handle the overflow cash from their many nefarious enterprises. 12. The wily old lighthouse keepers should invent a highly lucrative money laundering scheme to stash their ill-gotten gains. 13. The wily old lighthouse keepers shouldn't invent a highly lucrative money laundering scheme in this anti-crime climate. 14. The wily old lighthouse keepers should have invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme while they were in the witness protection plan. 15. The wily old lighthouse keepers shouldn't have invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme while they were being monitored by the FBI. 
16. The wily old lighthouse keepers could invent a highly lucrative money laundering scheme once a year for a hundred years and never run out of ideas. 17. The wily old lighthouse keepers couldn't invent a highly lucrative money laundering scheme even if their lives depended on it. 18. The wily old lighthouse keepers could have invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme if they'd had a laptop and a bank account. 19. Even those wily old lighthouse keepers couldn't have invented such a highly lucrative money laundering scheme without outside help. 20. The wily old lighthouse keepers might invent a highly lucrative money laundering scheme unless they're kept under house arrest. 21. The wily old lighthouse keepers might have invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme while they were waiting for trial. 22. The wily old lighthouse keepers must invent a lot of highly lucrative money laundering schemes. 23. The wily old lighthouse keepers must have invented a highly lucrative money laundering scheme while they are out on parole. 24. The wily old lighthouse keepers can invent hundreds of highly lucrative money laundering schemes. 25. The wily old lighthouse keepers can't invent any more highly lucrative money laundering schemes. Review exercise 11.8. Your own compound nouns. On a separate piece of paper, build up your own compound nouns, both subject and object, as on page 140. Review exercise 11.9. Your compound nouns and complex verbs. On a separate piece of paper, write out your own sentences, as on page 141. Review exercise 12.1. Nasal consonants. More. Bore. Summing. Subbing. Jam. Jab. Nine. Dine. Anna. Adder. Pawn. Pod. Bring each. Geese. Singer. Cigar. Ring. Rig. Review exercise 12.2. Ending nasal consonants. Rum. Run. Rung. Sum. Sun. Sung. Hum. Hun. Hung. Review exercise 12.3. Reading nasal consonant sounds. Some young men wanted to fling a ring along the rim of the fountain, but we told them to clam up and clean up their game. One was a well-mannered young man with the name Dan Wang. He said, yes, ma'am. Review exercise 13.1, throaty consonants. How, rehire, cow, Accent, sink. Go, regard, drag. Bring in, thanks, sing. Row, mirror, car. Review exercise 13.2, the letter X. Excite, extra, accept, excellent. Example, exactly. Examine. Exit. Review exercise 13.3. Reading the H, K, G, N, G, and R sounds. Dr. Baxter's exact experience was such that when the good doctor traveled to the Sahara, he inhaled the arid air, picked up his still-packed bags, and headed for the bar. It was time to examine the sorry situation, which was exactly the case with Dr. Igor Baxter, an English historian with a peg leg and an unquenchable thirst for Mexican rum. Baxter had had a pair of strange experiences in the area, but he was still game to accomplish his goal, 
in the exiled purgatory of the great dry Sahara. When he saw that his patients were to be camels, however, he packed up and took off for green England without a single pang of regret.